iOS 18 has been rumored to be a massive update for quite some time now, and just recently we caught wind of a revamped, more customizable home screen, according to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman. Now, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things about Android is the ability to create custom home screens that can kind of make your phone look and feel unique compared to other users, and with the iPhone, that's really never been something that you could do, at least not natively. Now, Apple users have been given more and more freedom recently, but it's still very locked down compared to Android. So according to sources, iOS 18 will now give us greater control over that home screen arrangement. While app icons will likely remain locked to an invisible grid system on the home screen to ensure that there at least is some uniformity, sources say that users will be able to arrange icons more freely on iOS 18. Now, for example, we expect that the update will introduce the ability to create blank spaces, rows, and columns between app icons. You can actually kind of do some of this now, but it requires downloading third-party widgets and a lot of setup to get things going in the right direction. Now, if you're wondering how this will look or work, you can actually grab almost any Android phone since the dawn of time, or you can check out Shay over at the Concept Central YouTube channel. He has cooked up uh, some pretty incredible concepts for his iOS 18 video. Now, some of those concepts include things that I hope will become a reality someday. And you can also see some of the blank spots that are on the home screen and what that would look like. And I also really love the idea of bringing over control center toggles in widget form to the home screen. I really hope Apple like watches this video and implements like 99% of these things. Let me know what other types of features you would love to see in the comments down below. And again, be sure to check out the Concept Central YouTube channel for other amazing concepts. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. Now, before we get into the rest of what you can expect with iOS 18, there are a few other cool features that could be coming our way. I wanna spend one quick minute giving you more information about today's sponsor, Keeper. Do you ever wish that you could just get rid of passwords forever? Don't we all? Luckily, passkeys are here, and they're bringing us one step closer to a passwordless future. Keeper Security, the password manager that I use and the sponsor of today's video, now supports passkeys on iPhone and Android. Keeper also supports passkeys in their browser extension, which means with Keeper, you can create and use passwords and passkeys across any of your devices. It doesn't even matter. The platform Keeper is available amongst all. Passkeys lets you log into apps and accounts the same way you unlock your phone with either fingerprint or facial recognition. And they're super secure. They're phishing resistant and support two-factor authentication by design. So whether it's a password, passkey, or any other sensitive information that I've stored in my Keeper Vault, I rest easy knowing that my accounts are protected with zero trust and zero knowledge security. So if you need a password manager, by all means, please check out Keeper. And there is a deal going on for our readers and viewers out there. You can get 50% off by using code MACRUMORS50, or you can get a 30-day free trial by clicking the link in the description down below. Now, along with a revamped home screen, we're expecting some major new AI features, and some of those might come from Google. Again, according to Mark Gurman, Apple is in discussions with Google to integrate its Gemini AI engine into the iPhone as part of iOS 18. The recent report claims the two companies are in active negotiations to let Apple license Google's generative large language models in order to power some new features coming in iOS 18. Now, I'm curious to find out exactly what this partnership means for Siri, maybe, or Apple's chat GPT style chatbot that the company has been, quote, internally testing. Uh, perhaps Siri will have that chatbot that I mentioned, and a lot of that information would probably come from Google's Gemini, which is also a chatbot that you can use. And it'll be interesting to find out hopefully all of those details later this year. Maybe we'll even get some of those new AI features that Google dropped recently for its Pixel devices like Circle to Search, which allows users to circle any part of an image, and a Google search will automatically help you find what you're looking for on that image. Apple is said to be planning to use AI in a few different ways in iOS 18, boosting many of its built-in apps. So in Apple Music, for example, Apple could offer auto-generated Apple Music playlists, and apps like Pages and Keynotes can offer AI-assisted writing and slide deck creations. Now, another huge update to messages could be coming, and one of the biggest things that I'm excited about and that we're also expecting is support for RCS because, well, Apple already said that this was going to happen and it was going to be coming in 2024, and it just makes sense that this is something that gets unveiled at WWDC. iMessage isn't going anywhere for iPhone to iPhone conversations, but RCS will make iPhone to Android conversations better in a myriad of ways. 
Sending photos and videos to Android users from an iPhone will no longer result in errors and group chats will have better performance. So just a quick rundown of the full list that RCS will include will be things like support for higher resolution photos and videos, support for larger file sizes and file sharing, audio messages, cross-platform emoji reactions, real-time typing indicators, read receipts, the ability to send messages over cellular or Wi-Fi. SMS is currently cellular only, so now, just like with iPhone to iPhone, you can send a message on Wi-Fi only if you need to. Now you can do that to an Android device, and there's no cost to send an RCS message over Wi-Fi. And then, of course, we'll get improved group chats. Now, the blue bubble isn't going to be coming over to the Android. It'll still be blue bubble, green bubble, but who cares? That's just a color. At least the chats won't be broken, and things will work properly. With the launch of iOS 18, the AirPods Pros are also expected to gain a new hearing aid mode. While the feature was initially rumored for the next generation AirPods Pro, Apple is now said to be planning to introduce support through a software update. Apple already has conversation boost for increasing the volume and clarity of people directly in front of the wearer, so it's not clear what hearing aid mode will do differently, but definitely looking forward to seeing what that might mean for the AirPods Pro. And for the three people out there that use the Freeform app, that app is set to be updated with a Scenes feature that will let users select specific sections or scenes within their boards for quicker navigation. Scenes will be accessible through a new Scenes UI, which can be used to flip between those saved scenes. Of course, there's going to be plenty of new changes coming to iOS 18. It's set to be the biggest update since, well, iOS was officially released with the iPhone back in 2007. And so, with that, I want to hear from you in the comments down below. What new features are you hoping for? What do you think of the ones that are in this video that we talked about? Let me know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.